Hi there and welcome to part two of the 13 reasons why affiliate marketing is the best first business for beginners. Now, if you haven't watched part one, I would urge you to go back and watch it or at the very least watch it at the end of this. It's not necessarily like one continues directly after the other. No, they're kind of two separate videos with, with multiple reasons in each one. There was just too many reasons to cover in one particular video. So let's get stuck into this. But before I do, I just want to let you know that if you want to learn how to make 10K per month as soon as possible, whilst my mentor and I are doing all of the hard work for you, then what you can do is go to the bottom of uh, the description part of this video and click on the link that'll take you to my website where it'll you'll get the opportunity to get a four part video series that really explains the ins and outs of affiliate marketing and how to go about making that 10k with a hybrid system so that's in the description below or in the very first comments of this particular video so let's for now get stuck into this and I'll leave that to you to take care of yourself so the next reason that uh, affiliate marketing is so damn good is because uh, training availability. Now, there is free training available through YouTube. There is just about anything you want to learn can be available through YouTube, right? Especially as it pertains to affiliate marketing. There are channels uh, like myself, uh, ODI Productions, Debbie Super Affiliate. Um, there are a lot of programs. Uh, there are a lot of, there's a lot of advice on YouTube that's available. Now, I'm not saying it's the best advice, but what I'm saying is that there is a lot of information there to get you started, right? Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my other channels and start learning. Now, when you're ready to really start figuring out like what sort of systems and strategies to implement, um, how do you, you know, how do you really get stuck into this, you know, beyond just the learning phase, then there are paid trainings available with, uh, then there are a ton of them available, right, that you can learn from. Now, um, I'm still working through all of the affiliate marketing courses, uh, all of the most recent ones, I should say, um, but I've gone through a lot of them, right, and some of them are pretty good, some of them are pretty average, um, and I'll be putting out my opinions on my um uh, Sam Nuku product review channel. Okay, and I'll, I'll get to that eventually. But right now, I don't really want to recommend any paid channels because I'm still working through them all. But there is some good stuff out there. Okay, just make sure you do your research and find someone that actually resonates with you and follow them. Like what you'll find is like perhaps maybe someone the way that they speak or the way that they explain things, um, or perhaps maybe the way that they present themselves on camera is what resonates most with you. And so you should kind of go with that gut feeling and follow those particular people. But make sure you do your research. Okay, because there are some slick marketers out there that will sell you on on certain things like there, there will be sales pages and sales videos that'll convince you that somehow that they're better and above beyond everybody else when in fact they're just as much they're, they're, their training is just as good as as you know like a $300 training or a $700 training now I'm not necessarily saying that a $3,000 course is the equivalent of a $300 course no what I'm saying is that don't fall for marketing and some of the bullshit that's actually out there okay you're better than that just do some research on the person you know have a, have a bit of a look into their history and what it is that they actually do or even try and message them and see if they actually reply to you then you'll know whether they give a damn or not okay it doesn't take much okay you just got to do a little bit of research and you'll be glad that you did that's my process whenever I'm trying to figure out like a new product or a new market to go into I'll talk to people before I pay for anything of theirs and see if they're actually if I actually want to do business with them okay so learning marketing marketing and sales okay this is really really important this is one of the best reasons uh, why it's one of the why why this is a good business to get into because you're going to learn how to to do it like a professional okay and what that actually means is that you know marketing and sales is the number one skill for any business okay you can't tell me that money isn't the lifeline of any business any business out there would love to make more money would love to have more business would love to get more sales through their funnel anyone who tells you otherwise full of shit or they're trying to mask the fact that they don't know what they're doing okay so once you learn you can apply this skill anywhere so that's why it's great to start with affiliate marketing because you can learn where to do it and how to do it and then you can apply that to any business you want to go into. You want to go into a hobby or a niche or something that perhaps maybe a lot, you're a lot more passionate about, a lot more interested in, then you can because you've actually got those skills that you can take into other arenas, into other markets, into other places that you can actually um, apply that to. And here's the thing. It is tough in affiliate marketing because there are other affiliate, there are other marketers in the game. Okay. So it does make it, make it tougher to break into, but here's it. Once you go into other niches, you're going to find it's ridiculously easy because you've got a bunch of skills that other people have no clue about. Right? So 
another really good thing about it is that you could get a coach and a mentor and that there is a coach and there is a difference between coach and mentor if you haven't heard it in one of my other videos I'll explain it to you now a coach is somebody that's in the daily grind with you there's somebody is is there if not daily every second or third day and they're giving you advice and you're going back and forth trying to get this business right right that's a coach. A mentor, as I see it, is somebody who more like somebody you get in touch with once a month, once every two months, once every three months, just to get some guidance to say, hey, like I'm looking at this YouTube marketing thing. What would you suggest? Hey, I'm looking into this Facebook marketing thing. What would you suggest? Hey, I'm looking into Instagram marketing. What would you suggest? That's a mentor. Somebody who uh, who is, is way, way above and beyond your current status and level. They can kind of give you some guidance based off of their experience and their knowledge. Okay. So it's the same thing as what I mentioned earlier on in terms of buying courses investing into courses just do a bit of research and you'll find someone that you resonate with and follow them and what it is that they recommend okay so like I said for me even I've got a mentor right and I've been in this game for a long time but I've got a mentor that I touch base with very regularly um, <clears throat> and I use him just as much in terms of like a coach in terms of like getting you know regular uh, information but in terms of getting guidance with, with regards to the business I kind of touch base with him probably once a month maybe twice a month at most to get guidance as, as to what direction I'm heading make sure I'm going down the right direction you know what I mean because like say for example like I wanted to be a better basketball player it would be better to have my local coach coaching me getting me through those daily drills and having Michael Jordan mentor me because he's been at the highest of highest of, of the games and the, he, he's got a much bigger vision and of what's possible and what to do and so on and so so forth. All right. So I hope that makes some sort of sense. Now, this business is also very low risk. And that is for, that is uh, because of reasons one, two, three, and four. I'm not going to go through those reasons here. You can go back into video one and it'll talk to you about why it's low risk there. But just a couple of things that I wanted to add on top of that is that there is little to no money to put down. Like you can literally start affiliate marketing for free, right? You you can sign up to affiliate programs that are free. You can um, you can use uh, Mailchimp as your as your mail as, as your mailing uh, program, but it's it's really you can't really do sequences with Mailchimp, so I wouldn't really suggest that. But you could, I'm saying you could do it for free. You could sign up to YouTube, and um, and start creating videos. 100% free, right? Or if you want to put a little bit of money into it, right? You you can you can pay for an email, uh, an email account that's going to create an, an email sequence uh, that you can then start funneling people in into a funnel into an email sequence that's going to generate you a lot more sales. Um, you can invest into a website so that you can create landing pages so that you can capture a lot more of those people so that you've got more people to market to and so that you can make more sales. If if that makes if you're sort of catching my drift there. So another good reason is that it, there's no product ownership. So you don't have to create the product which I'll talk about shortly you know what I mean you don't actually own the product so you don't have to deal with any customer service or administration work or any of those kinds of issues that come along with being a, a product owner there is a lot of stress a lot of uh, a lot of ins and outs that perhaps maybe product creation uh experts will, will teach you that doesn't necessarily go into but there is a lot of work to be done I know I've done it it took me years and whilst I made money ultimately it just really wasn't worth it now I'm not saying it wasn't it's not worth it in terms of like affiliate marketing or other businesses that you want to get into I'm just saying it wasn't worth it in terms of the niche that I got involved if there was a market cap on that and I didn't see it at the time because I didn't have the knowledge or understanding I wish I'd gotten into affiliate marketing then and then got into product creation afterwards I'll probably I would have avoided that niche altogether and save myself years um, and of, of stress and tens of thousands of dollars invested into it right but anyway that's neither here nor there I'm here now and I'm and I'm teaching this into you hope I'm hoping you get some value out of this so there is no need to create products I touched upon this previously but I'm telling you you can avoid weeks months and years of frustrations right because you don't have to learn about sales copy you don't have to learn about funnels or email sequences or anything like that there is no uncertainty about how well your product may or may not go there is a ton of work like I've said that goes into um, that goes into talking about that sort of stuff and you can avoid all of that by doing affiliate marketing all you really need to do is put together some amazing content put it out there and if people resonate with what you share because they're looking for the solution anyway that's how they found you if you think about it and in that manner right you can really take a, a huge step forward by figuring everything out learning marketing and sales keeping your costs low and all that sort of stuff before you go into product creation which is the next level okay but you don't need to do that when you're starting out 
Now, another thing that I love, and this is probably my, no, this is my favorite reason, is lifestyle, right? This business can be built from anywhere in the world. In the world, As long as you've got an internet connection and a phone or a computer, you can start building an affiliate marketing business. Like literally, if, you, if you've got a phone, you can create videos and upload them to YouTube as long as you've got an internet connection anywhere in the world. And from those videos, you import your your affiliate links and you can start making sales now do I like doing it on a phone no I like creating videos on a phone but I don't like working on a phone I much prefer a computer so everywhere I go I've got at least a laptop right and if I'm gonna move I have to move with my computer my computer is the first thing is the last thing that I take take down when I move houses and it's the first thing that I set up when I move into that house that's how important it is to me but you can build this business around your life and not a schedule like SEO for example search engine optimization there are schedules in which you've got to work around if you're going to do trading there are trading times that you need to work around in order to actually do it for me I create the videos when I'm ready I create blog posts when I'm ready I connect with people when I'm ready I create emails when I want to and then I pop and then I create the, and then I upload the sequences as they align with what it is that I want to do, right? And that's one thing that I love about online marketing is that you can really build a lifestyle. And I mean legitimately build a lifestyle. There is something really, really powerful about that that goes unsaid uh, or unspoken. Now, is it ideal situation you know, to be traveling all over the world and, and, um, and, and creating videos and uploading them, hoping that you have an internet connection? No, right? I had my challenges when I was in the Philippines. But with that being said, it is an option, right? And I basically am building towards the point where I can make multiple six figures every year and I can travel anywhere I want and continue to build my business. And I think I'm about one to one and a half years away from that, but I will get there, okay? And I'm very much looking forward to you being part of this journey so that I can, that, that can help me achieve that, right? So thank you for that. So look, I hope you enjoyed this little mini series. It was only a two-part series, but I really wanted to bring you a lot of value. I saw some videos out there that gave you, you know, three, four, five, six reasons, I thought I'm going to bring everything together that I've got to, to, to share exactly with you why affiliate marketing is so good. Now, if you really want to figure out how to do this, I've got a four-part video series with, <clears throat> with my mentor that we've put together just for people like you who are serious. If you want to learn how to make 10K per month, um, as soon as possible whilst we are doing all the heavy lifting for you then go ahead and click on the link in the description or the very first comment below and it'll take you to my landing page where you put in your email address and we're going to start sending you one video per day for the next four days that's going to teach you everything you need to know okay everything like we really put together an awesome series 100% free I don't th I don't see anything else out there quite like this and you're going to absolutely love it all right if you've got any questions whatsoever I'm here post it below this comment this video and by the way if you want to be part of the end of month draw of over $1,200 of coaching courses and cash, then go ahead and subscribe and comment below this video and I'll put you into that draw so that you can start uh, gaining more access to me and that you and I can connect and hopefully I'm hoping that I can help you with your business, help take it to the next level that perhaps maybe you've wanted to get through that you just haven't quite gotten there yet. All right, so take care, much love and I will see you in the next one.